Pickles. That's scary. What? Why is that scary? I'd have to go underwater and be bait for a catfish. Oh, I see. You're thinking of noodling. I'm talking about noodles. Oh, never mind. Hi, this is Lena Shea in Iowa Mom. The homemade noodles are very easy to make and they don't cost hardly anything because there's only three ingredients, an egg, flour, and salt. And so we're gonna start with the egg. And then I'm using a fork to beat that. I'm gonna add salt into the egg and we'll mix that in. And now we're going to be adding flour. And the problem with this recipe is I can't tell you exactly how much flour to add. The reason why is because some eggs are big and some eggs are small. If you got a bigger egg, you're going to need more flour. And I'm going to just sprinkle that over the, the egg mixture. And as I'm stirring, the flour is absorbing into that egg. It's still very sticky, so I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to sprinkle some more on it. It's starting to get a little crumbly. I'm going to add a little bit more. And at this point, you're going to want to have really clean hands because we're going to start sticking our hands in this. And really, we should always wash our hands whenever we do food prep anyway. But I'm looking at my mixture and I'm just kind of rubbing that dough right into the, the bowl to kind of absorb as much as I can of the flour. I'm just kind of pressing it in and we're absorbing as much as we can so it's no longer sticky. And so I just kind of sprinkle it over and then press it into the bowl. And then I'm going to put a little flour on my hands. Okay, now I'm going to feel that dough and it's sticking a little bit to my hand there so I'm going to put a little bit more on my hand. Where that sticky spot is I'm just going to press it into the to the hand. And then I just kind of squeeze it a little bit like that. Okay this is feeling great. You know you don't want to get it to where it's hard but you don't want it to be sticky. I don't want to cut my noodles on the countertop. So what I do is I use one of these um, acrylic cutting boards. Just give it a swipe of a damp rag first and then when I press it down it helps it to grab the counter a little bit. Otherwise this tends to slide around. Now we're going to put some more flour on this cutting board and then we just smear that all around and don't worry if it goes over the edge not a problem. I'm going to be using a rolling pin, so I just run my rolling pin right over that cutting board. Okay, you put your dough down on the, the mat, and then I'm going to just kind of karate chop it like that. Can you see how it has that spreads it out a little bit? Then I'm going to do it the other way, like this. And we do not want the noodles to stick to the mat, so we're kind of being very generous with applying a lot of flour. Okay, and then I'm just kind of pressing it out with my hand. I'm going to give it a fresh coating of flour, rub that over the surface, and now I'm going to start rolling it. And I just roll it one way and then the other way so that we can work that dough into a very flat piece. I think that they taste the best if you have them rolled out to something about like that. Okay, now I'm pulling it up and it is sticking just a little bit. So what I'm going to do, get that to come up and then work with flour over that area where it was sticking. And then I'm going to flip it over where I have already floured the top surface of that. Another coat of flour. And you really can't put too much flour on at this point because uh, what doesn't work into the dough can be just thrown in the trash. Okay, now I'm going to pick this up and see. Oh yeah, comes off easy. One more.
trip over the rolling pin. Okay, now at this point, we are gonna cut them and get them ready to dry. Uh, you can cook noodles right away, but what happens is they tend to get sticky if you do that. So we wanna let them dry. So I'm gonna give another coat of flour. And then I'm going to fold this over on itself. Once I've got that coated again, the main thing is keep coating those layers. I'm gonna give it one more folding. Now what this does is it helps when I'm cutting. I just kind of work some flour over the edge. Uh, eggs anymore have salmonella in them and you have to cook to get rid of the salmonella so you don't want to eat it raw. If you're making cookie dough that has eggs in them, you shouldn't be eating raw cookie dough either. My daughter, who has a cookbook for people who are allergic to eggs, she has a, a recipe for cookies that doesn't take eggs and you can eat that cookie dough with no trouble. I've got some thin ones here and you can see how because we have those floured up really good, they're not sticking. That's awesome. Now I'm going to make some thicker. This is the way my mom always made hers. It is nice and thick. So you can try it different ways to see how you like it. I'm doing half and half just to kind of experiment. Okay, so now if you like them really wide, you can cut them wide. You need to spread them out a little bit so they don't stick to each other. We're leaving this here to dry. Then we get the broth hot so it's boiling again and then just drop the, the noodles in and give them a good stir. You don't want the noodles to clunk together. And when I say drop them in, do it carefully. You don't, you know, don't go way up high and drop them like that. You'll splash everywhere. Just get fairly close to the broth as you're putting them into the, the broth. And then I'm setting my timer for about 12 minutes. The noodles are nice and plump. They've changed um, size. And then when you poke at them, they're nice and tender. And so I've added a bunch of chicken and we are ready to dish this up. Okay, this is Lena Shea and Iowa Mom. Thanks for watching.